National Broadcasting Company presents the National Football League. Today, from Giant Stadium, it's the Kansas City Chiefs versus the New York Giants. Brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Budweiser, Beachwood Age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. And by AT&T, the right choice. Quarterback Phil Simms is the man who leads the Giant offense. Two more wins and the Giants take the NFC East. On defense, the Giants are ignited by the great Lawrence Taylor, a linebacker who can dominate a game. Last week, Joe Morris had his best game as a rusher, 122 yards. He has to keep running well for the Giants to contend. Kansas City's offense is built around quarterback Steve DeBerg. The Chiefs have won three of their last four. His play at QB has been the difference. On defense, safety Duran Cherry is having another all-pro season. He leads Kansas City in interceptions, in fumble recoveries, and in tackles. It is a clear, sunny December day at Giants Stadium in the Meadowlands of New Jersey. And today, the Giants will find out a lot more about how legit they are as a Super Bowl contender. Jill Packer, close to zero. Play fake. They fake to Morris. The ball. Pattern, Mark Favaro. Touchdown, Giants. They were so sharp working on this on Friday. They stressed the throw to Bavao and to Moat. And Sims on target. The opening drive. And the Giants look very much like a Super Bowl contender just blowing away Kansas City off the line of scrimmage. And finally, on the payoff end, Sims to his all-pro tight end, Mark Bavaro. His third touchdown catch. It's linebacker coverage. Burris on the outside. You see 96 Pearson on the inside. That was a good play action fake by Phil Sims. Just held the linebackers for an instant. McFadden, a barefoot kicker on this freezing day, hits the extra point up and good. With nine minutes to play in the first quarter, the Giants lead seven to nothing. Now watch Bavaro and watch Pearson, the linebacker, 96. You just see the bottom of him. He's got to stand there and respect the run. And then Mark Bavaro gets behind him. This is a beautifully thrown ball by Phil Sims and a spectacular catch for the opening score of the game. So the Giants take it right down the field and take a 7-0 lead. They'll kick it off in a moment. With great field position here. First and 10 for the Chiefs. They trail 7-0. Herman Hur with a good cutback move and what a stick. Giants have the ball. Now the big time defense of the Giants rises up and frees the ball. Looked like Eric Howard came up with a football. We'll have to see who made the stick. What a play. John, I think it was Eric Dorsey, 77, who just stuck his arm out there. Watch this sweep. You see Saxon on the lead, 77. Oh, it's going to be Marshall. 70, Marshall puts his hand in there and just knocks the ball away. It's on the ground, falls right to Eric Howard. Giants ball. Freezing cold at Foxborough. Second down and eight. Arises now for the Chiefs. The Berg at 6'3", 218. Stands in against the big rock and cannot withstand it. As coming for the sack on the play was Carl Banks, 58. First sack given up in four games, three and a half games now by Kansas City. Saw Harry Carson standing on the sideline. Good coverage by the Giants down the field. DeBerg has enough time here to find one, but excellent coverage. Looks like Carl Banks overrun James Saxon, 21, to make the sack. First of the day for the Giants. Giants coaches and players realizing again it's probably the defense that's going to have to win this game that they have to win. They will come hard, and he gets DeBerg back at the two-yard line. John Hall can't hold off Taylor as his locker mate. Gary Carson salutes another all-pro play by one of the greatest in the history of this game. Lawrence Taylor of the Giants. Boy, is that a... Is that a confident builder for this defense? It's pretty much done it for years for the New York Giants, but... They, you give the offense another shot so that you can back the offense up more or come up with a turnover. Field on a swing move over the middle. Here's Adams going in motion now. He can catch the ball as Phil Sims drops, takes a look. 
Throws the other way downfield. Bavaro with a second touchdown of the day. Beautiful Mark Bavaro, down. two catches, both in the end zone. That one good for 24 yards. And the Giants, after seeing their lead cut to one now, are up by seven. It could go to eight with the extra point. And the reason this play works is that Bill Sims does a good job of deking the free safety. See him look over to the left and then suddenly back to the right. Free safety Duran Cherry back there looking at the eyes of Mark B uh, Bill Sims trying to read where he's throwing it would just lay over there in coverage and Mark Bavaro an easy catch for a touchdown. Bavaro with 49 catches this season. Four for touchdown. Two today. Extra point by McFadden is knocked up and through and with 6.53 to play in the third quarter. Mark Bavaro in a apparent prayer of Thanksgiving has been in the end zone twice. Bavaro strong to the left as the tight ends are aligned, two of them, and they go to the run. Here is Otis Anderson. He's going in. It's a touchdown for the Giants. Otis Anderson, his eighth touchdown of the season. Had three last week. Nice sweep play run by the New York Giants. Carthen with the lead block. You see a nice pull by number 60. Eric Moore gets down at a defensive lineman's legs and there's nobody there to make the tackle. McFadden drives the extra point up and through and the Giants challenge now come back to score and extend their lead to 21 to 12. Harry Carson announcing his retirement today. But he'll be activated for the playoffs. Yeah. He's not done playing for the New York Giants in 1988. Three roster moves they made coming into this game. Eight surgeries. Moss, Dino Hackett, both have knee scopes. Five nose tackles that played this season for the Chiefs. Second down from the six-yard line. Second and goal for the Giants. Touchdown Giants. So Maurice Carthon, who went almost five years without scoring a touchdown for the Giants, now has one each of the last two weeks. Well, he's very smart, too. You know, he's not spiking that ball. He's taking it home with it. Right. Taking no chances. to put this on the mantle. This is the old cross buck. They give it to the up guy and bake the pitch. You see Duran Cherry, 90, uh, 20, just frozen in his stance. They weren't expecting Carthon to get it. He does for the score. McFadden powers through the extra point as the Giants go 51 yards in eight plays using 524. And they extend their lead now to 27 to 12. 